Hello and welcome to the next episode of Earth Defence Force 2017. All right, let's get this party started. Select new game to select a save game file to load. Select another. Select your weapons before deployment. Choose let's your weapons. See with... You may equip up to two let's weapons see. at once. Let's change a secondary weapon. Oh, the sniper rifle today. So today we're trapped in the valley after our victory against the crimson ants on the beach. Let's begin. Start off, there's a battle machine right here. Let's take out these guys up front to stop us being boxed in. The battle machine is very helpful for this type of situation. Just keep moving forward until this must to take out any units up front. Alright, the battle machine just about had it. And as you can see the amps will try force to be boxed in in this, but taking out those two hectares at the front. We've uh, cleared the path of escape. As you can see, also the valley is getting bombarded. And take out these ants up front. Then the bombardments will eventually zero in on you if you stay in the same spot for far too long. See, they're already coming in. Just use a sniper rifle against these guys. They're pretty effective. One down. Ah, I love when these things explode. It's a massive explosion. As you can see, we've fought his way out of this ambush. There's not too many enemy units left to take on now. And as you can see, there's the beach from the previous mission. Alright, let's go enemy hunting. There's one or two walking arms left and then maybe an ant. See, they've dropped a lot of elf items. Try to save them if you need them. But the uh, pickups you should collect are the weapon ones and the armors. As you well know, if you've been watching this series, you will need them. Okay, there's one walking out there. Let's go this way and engage. This one's got a double heavy plasma mortar. So it can be a bit dangerous at point blank if you get hit by the thing. But on this side we should be fine. There it is. Oof, I took a hit from that. It's done just over 100 damage. 
might get that amongst out there. Ah, uh, it's just two ants left. It should kind of easily take care of. One down, one to go. Mission complete. <laughs> I like how his torso just twists on naturally. Okay, next mission. Let's see what it's going to be. Expansion. Alright, so we're back in the urban scenario. So we'll have a lot of anthills we've got to take out in the city. It's the one I'm thinking that is can be a bit of a pain because it will be spawning spiders and ants. So we've got to take them out as fast as we can. Hopefully there's a needle bike around to show off. Something right here. Maybe this fires a machine gun, but well, it's really fast. Yeah, there's a spider hole near there, we've got to take that out. As you can see, when you get more than one web on, your health drains pretty fast. Alright, let's find the next hole. Back to the needle bike. Let the uh, AI do whatever the AI is going to do. This is really one of the quickest ways to get around the levels. But, but this thing has very low health, so it can't take too many hits. And we found the spider's hole. Let's eliminate it. And eliminate a few spiders along with it. <laughs> yeah, spiders are one of the worst enemy types you can encounter in this game especially on the later difficulties they can kill you in one second flat and these are just the um, garden variety ones right so we've got rid of two two nests let's get, get let's go back and get us bike and get to the next one make sure the rocket launcher is reloaded As we can see, there's another nest directly ahead. So let's eliminate this one. We still aggro any enemies in the area. When fighting ants, it's best not to use the shotgun because of the slow reload speeds. Assault rifles are really good because they reload very fast. Just keep pressing it. There's another ant hill back there. Uh, on this level, on the harder difficulties, you can end up alone, which is not the best. So any attack on any of these hills can result in you being chased right really far back by a lot of enemies really quick. This 
I'm stuck in the building. It happens quite a lot of this. So in urban environments it does pay to have a rocket launcher in case you can't get to There's a spider hill somewhere around here. I need to eliminate it fast before I get overrun by spiders. As you can see, I'm starting to get surrounded, which is never good. Alright, we've got rid of that spider hill. I should stem the tide around here so an enemy is coming to attack me I think there should be only one power left and as you can see all these attacks are really taking a toll on the amount of HP I've got so I just have to keep pressing Eee. Use your dog for Right, we've managed to push back the enemy in this area and there should only be one more nest now which is at the top of the map. We've got a destroy. Get this health back to max and let's move on. Grab these armor pickups while we're here. Get up out next mission. As you can see, we've eliminated all the spiders in this mission, so all we've got left to take out is ants now. Flash damage from the rocket launchers is really good as well. It can take out large numbers of enemies in one go. Oh, we've just got a bit of clean up to do now. Seems I was wrong about that being the last nest. There seems to be one just a bit further up. So you just saw more ants just spawning after me clearing out that number that I was fighting. Get rid of this one. have to break through their lines so I can find the nest and eliminate it. Right, all i got to do is now finish the level. We're in a pretty good spot at this point. Three ants isn't much of a threat. Even if this was on late difficulties and you have this many left, you'll be fine. That's another victory for the ED, although we did lose all his men. Which is going to be a more common occurrence on these later levels. Nothing new. Alright, let's check the mission. Alright, for this mission I'm going to show off the anti-air weaponry. I haven't showed it off yet. As we'll be up against a large number of air units in this mission. I'll, I'll try to show off as many different weapon types as I can. 
as we can see we've got a power machine here to help these weapons reload pretty fast but they always seem to lock onto this one target they are different ones that lock onto different so let's just use the machine as a fixed turret that's all the fixed turret the one that can move slightly I'll take out as many of these Well, as you can see on this mission we do have quite a number of EDF forces. Now, now we've got uh, walking arms coming in and these air weapons aren't really the most ideal weapon to fight them. But the assault rifle does a pretty decent job with these guys. As you can see. Assault rifle deals high amounts of damage really quickly. I serve the damage rating on these at cost as per shot. So damage can build up pretty quick with these to the enemy units. First wave of enemies defeated. Now we've got more gunships coming in. And more walk nodes. So we've got to fire his way out of this one. Well, we had quite a high number of soldiers survived the first enemy wave, so we should be fine. Just keep on fighting. As I said before, these air units aren't much of a threat. They go down quite easy. Let's take a tank, alright. This tank sort of took some damage. These tanks are pretty bad for you to end. Now oh, these guys are killing all the troops on the beach. We've got to put an end to these guys now. They're long range artillery strikes. You can see missile weapons aren't very good against these machines we do eventually take them out but it takes quite a while one good thing I'll do is double stock onto the enemy it's the fire and forget sort of weapon system any new weapons? nope right, let's do one more mission Descent part one, we're going back underground. Selected difficulty. More powerful items will appear at higher difficulty levels. Alright, we don't want the missile launcher for this mission. Um, let's show off a different rocket launcher. 
We'll go to Stingray and Fall. So this mission is linking up with all the other EBF units. You can see they're using um, flamethrowers. If you fall down there, you're dead. So this mission is basically just fighting his way down to the bottom of the pit. Take out any enemy units who can as you're going down, but they'll tend to get all over. That sword is dead, let's move on. These tunnels are quite big, it's easy to get lost in them if you don't know the layout. So just push them down, push them down. All the other units are dead, all the enemies that are going on me. So I might just not survive this. <laughs> I can't even see what I'm doing. I'm taking out what enemies I can when I can. I'm not fell. That's never good. I had to clear out some of the enemies in front of me and they put myself. Oh, that health just came at the right time. We are surrounded, but it's not yet. I'll fight his way out of this. In missions like this, I'll just say try to pick up what you can. Keep moving. So if you stay in one spot, game over. Just fight and fight and fight. That's all you can do. Alright, I think we've turned this around. Yeah, it's only one or two ants left now. There's a later mission, um, similar to this, but it's all spiders. Now you don't want to fall down into that. So you just get spawned by spiders. Okay, thank you for watching today's episode of Earth Defense Wars 2017. I'll see you next mission.